Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Tutorial with Sayed. In this episode, we will see how to extract unique entries from a list using a unique function. To follow along with me, please click on the link in the video description to download a working copy of this workbook. I have three sheets on this workbook. See it is where I will demonstrate. Do it is for you to practice. And there is a data sheet where we have our data that we will use in this demonstration. What I would like to do here is I would like to extract unique values from this data set from either department or country or region and show only the entries that are unique. For example, I have research and development here. I have it here also. I have it here again. So it is repeated several times. So I just want to see how many departments do I have in my organization. In this data set, I have around 2000 rows. What I would do here is I will go into the seed sheet. To begin, I will place my selection in cell A2. Here, I can write the unique function in two different ways. I can extract every distinct item or I can extract the item that appears once and only once. Let me show you what I mean by that. First, I will go ahead and type in unique function. If you do not see this function in your Excel, you may want to upgrade to the latest version of Excel because this function was introduced in the later versions of Excel. So after I type in the unique function here, the first argument that is required here is the array from where should Excel get the unique values. So I would ask Excel to go here in the data tab and then I would want it to start from F2 and go up to F2000. So what I would do here is just change this number. Now I can ask my function to return unique columns or unique rows. In our case, we are going to find out unique rows. So I will select that, press tab, comma, return exactly once. What is that? If I say true, it will return me the items that are appearing exactly once. For example, if research and development is written more than once, it will not return that if I select true. So here I'm trying to return every distinct item. So I will select false in this case, press tab, close the bracket and press enter. Now this is going to return me all the departments that are distinct and unique. Now I want to try this function one more time and return only the values that appears exactly once. So here I would type in unique again. This time I will select the same data set that is F2 to F2000 comma. I am trying to look for the values in rows comma and I want the values that appear exactly once. So I will select true in this case and close the bracket. It will return me only the values that are appearing once and only once in my list. So this is how we use unique function. I request you to go into the do it sheet. Try practicing using this data set or any other data you have. Practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Excel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you and have a very lovely day. See you soon.